And there's a funny uh, image for this. So from the moment you're born, your body is slowly cooking. You slowly cook, let me explain, <laughs> like a chicken in the oven from the moment you're born. And then when you're fully cooked, you die. <laughs> your face. <laughs> This concept of cooking is basically aging, and it's the technical term for it is called glycation. And the more glucose spikes you have, the faster this process happens. So if you want to age less quickly, and if, you know, when you look at two people who are 65, one is clearly younger than the other, like biologically, right? And you can affect, you can impact how quickly that aging is going on, one of the ways being through reducing your glucose spikes. Okay, and then long-term, we talked about type 2 diabetes being the leading sort of long-term condition linked to glucose levels. So the more glucose spikes you have, the faster you'll develop prediabetes and type 2 diabetes. And then finally, I'll also mention that glucose levels are linked to cancer and heart disease. So essentially, to, to give you a summary, if you have a lot of glucose spikes, things are not going to go super well. You're going to have lots of symptoms short-term, medium-term, long-term. If you currently feel, if you're like, I could, I could feel better than I do, you know, which most of us probably feel, then balancing your glucose levels is a really, really freaking important place to start. It's like the, the base, it's the base layer of your physical and mental health. It's really key. But most of us don't have that sorted.